Hey guys, I am back. I hope you're all feeling great today. I'm in a pretty good mood. Got another box from Monthly Knife Club. Just unboxed the uh, tier two name brand. Not sure what you're gonna see first, that or this. I don't even know what this is. I'm assuming this is the Onyx. It doesn't feel like the ultimate, um, but the ultimate, remember, I don't pay for the ultimate. He gives me the ultimate when he has an extra one. I love when he does, because it's awesome, but let's, uh, Let's get into this, and uh, while I'm cutting Division of Labor, I'll open the box. You guys, make sure you hit like, subscribe, comment, share, all that fun stuff. See, now everybody's done their jobs. Okay, so let's see what we've got in this box. This is probably the Onyx. Give me a card. It is the Onyx. Ooh, MKM. Flame Light. Multiple colors, so we could get any color. Any color. Um, so I see uh, Bowler M390, which I like. It's made in Italy. Let's just show you the specs real quick. Cost of the subscription. This is what you will find it for. If you look for it on the internet, they, they do the, the search you know, and find it for you. So you're getting a good deal this month. We're getting a great deal this month. Um, specs, I just can't wait to uh, look at it. Okay, um, I like MKM. Great, great brand. Um, I mean, really good quality. Made in Italy all the time. Um, I'm just looking at the specs myself real fast. Michael Zeba. Um, it's based off his popular MS3 Manhattan Special Executive Folder, so I don't really know what that is, to tell you the truth. So we'll just, we'll just have to see. Nice squishy pouch. Of course you can carry your pouch on your belt, great. Such a big box for such a little knife. So they give us a wrench. And they give us the paperwork, you know. And a little plastic thing to protect the micarta from the clip till we buy it. I love that clip. And that clip is reversible for left or right. So whichever side you choose to carry it on. Nice little accent there around the pivot. Nice little gold collar or kind of bronze collar as it is minimal design with the hardware which I like it is very small very slim but you know that's what they're going for oh that's nice action and I'll try to show you I don't know if it's gonna come out you've got these nice inset steel liners so nice piece of micarta with the uh, inset steel liners, very lightweight. So this is gentlemanly, folderly like, um, very EDC. Oh, you can feel the detent when you close it. Wonder if I can hear, I'm gonna put it next to the microphone so you can hear it snap into place. This thing will never open by accident on you. I like it. Um, not my my favorite from this stable. Um, flame light drop blade. Does that mean drop point? Maybe green canvas micarta. So I guess this does come. It says multiple colors. Um, so I guess the multiple different micarta colors. But very nice for just EDC kind of utility type tasks. Let's get some money. Where is the cutting money? Feels very good, feels nice. Um, something I would absolutely carry. I love the micarta feel. You guys want me to oil it, don't you? Maybe I'll do that on like a YouTube short or an Instagram post. Um, that's interesting. You gotta give it a little bit of force. You can't half-ass that. You don't have to like flick it with, I hate when people flick with their wrists, but you gotta, 
you gotta mean the 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 flip. You can't you can't just sort of meh. You gotta maybe with a little uh, KPL, a little lube in there, it'll get a little better. But you gotta you gotta give it a little bit of meaning. But it is a really nice design. I like that it's slim. I like that it's minimalistic. Um, and you know you're getting some good quality materials out of it. So. I think some people are going to look at it and be like, eh, that's kind of mad, it's kind of boring looking, but, you know. Good engineering, good knives come out of Italy, great materials, um, and, you know, the fit and finish on it is just great. Um, but I can understand why some people might say like, eh, I'm not thrilled with it um, as an onyx knife. I like it. I like it. I can understand why some other people might not, though. But I think it's pretty cool. Um, you know, I think some people with Onyx, they want something big and and uh, big and impressive looking and fancy. But sometimes, like, the, the simple understated is the way to go. Like, the, but this is something that I would carry. I absolutely would carry. I'm getting, guys, have you noticed my shift? I'm getting more into the smaller EDC size. I used to be all about, if it wasn't the size of a Benchmade 810, if it wasn't a Contigo, I didn't want it. But as I'm, as I'm uh, more and more... Um, post retirement, you know, from from the military, I'm I'm more into the EDC size stuff. I don't know. I like it though. I definitely like it. Oh, I don't know. But do you guys like it? Tell me what you think. So check the video description for a link to Monthly Knife Club. Um, not affiliated, as always. Just I think they're awesome. I think they're a good company. Good customer service. They put out a good product. Check them out. Um, but. Yeah, definitely. I'm really curious to hear everybody's opinion on this because I think that we are going to have uh, a wide range of opinions on this from I love it to I hate it. And I really do respect everybody's opinion, especially I like to I like to discuss when people don't agree with me because I want to know want to know why you don't agree with me. I want to know what your feelings are. So what do you guys think of this month's Onyx? Yes, no, like it, don't like it. So anyway, thanks, guys, for unboxing with me. Remember that you guys are all absolutely awesome. I appreciate every single one of you, and I'll be back again real soon.